If you're following Depth First Heard, you might have looked into Amber's past after you found out about her and the verdict just to see what was actually going on before the case. I've done that quite a bit here, and this clip is one of those things where I think people should actually be a little bit surprised. Now, I know a lot of people say, I'm not surprised anymore, but this is from a teenage suicide speech where Amber starts laughing pretty hard, actually. Now, something does happen to trigger it. However, I think you should probably react like, this is serious, wait a minute, or something like that. You'll see what I'm talking about. Let's check out the clip first. When Gwen said that she felt like a freak, the counselor told her that her feelings were completely normal <laughs> and that there was nothing wrong with her at all. After being given the chance to spare her experience, to share her experiences, Gwen offered the counselor her heartfelt thanks. <laughs> Thank you. I so needed that. Thank you so much. <laughs> Jennifer, I see you. You planned that. <laughs> <laughs> the counselor, I'm so sorry. <laughs> uh, the counselor offered her her heartfelt. Gwen offered her, the counselor, her heartfelt thanks and said, I wish there were more people like you in the world. I'm going to write your name down on a piece of paper, post it to my wall. And every, th every time I think it's too much, I'll look at it and I'll remember how you helped me tonight. LGBT youth who come from highly rejected families are more than eight times likely to kill themselves than their, LG than their LGBT peers who report low or no uh, family rejection at all. So thank you. Thank you for helping amazing young people remember just how much they are accepted and how much they're loved this holiday season. So what's the point? Well, first of all, the point is, obviously, I think you should have handled that different. You can see the audience kind of got a little laugh also, but the audience isn't the person standing up there giving the speech about teenage suicide. And when you think about it, as far as the overall personality of Amber, the thing is, she thinks she can just apologize and then everything is okay. So she'll say, sorry, <laughs> I didn't mean it, but you know, no punishment needed. I said, I'm sorry. Now I would have done this. If someone's phone rang in this situation, you'd be like, not right now. Then you continue the serious speech when the speech is over and the air settled a bit. Then you call out your friend and you laugh at the end after the thing if even, but that would be a lot better. That's my opinion on it. Obviously, this is an opinion piece. And this is from Fairy Na. And Fairy Na says, okay, let's go on with bad behavior. Here is an event from 2011. It's about a very serious topic, teenage suicide. Doesn't get much more serious than that, by the way. To add some context, they were both telling a story about a suicidal teen, but during the speech, a phone rang. So funny, right? That's totally appropriate in her world, I guess. And obviously that leads into the clip you've seen. And this is from 2011. And a lot of people defend Amber, but I think some of those people jumped on board in Virginia or the UK without really looking at her history. When you look at Amber's history over 10 years, it's very consistent. The way she acts, the lies she tells, her demeanor, her disrespect. So I guess if you've got like only a few little facts, you might tend to defend her more. But if you know, if you do some research, she's very hard to believe. You could see her getting snarky in interviews with people, not taking those interviews so seriously. You could see things from the past that point out she likes pranks. Now again, nothing I'm saying is a real 100% piece of evidence. But when you put it all together over the years, it makes a lot of sense. So Amber likes playing pranks. She said this before. Well, you could also say a prank is a hoax. And what do we get? Also, she's been known to ignore people in public. She's ignored her mother before at parties and things like that. So again, 
This doesn't actually prove something 100%, but throw this all in the mix and you could really tell the character we're dealing with. And the person here makes an excuse for her like, oh, she's trying to fit in. She doesn't feel comfortable. No, she's ignoring people. We also have the not so genuine activism, quote unquote, from all over, spanning over years. And of course, we've got drinking and drinking and drinking and tons of pictures and videos of that. Once again, that doesn't prove anything 100% alone, but when you put it all together. Anyway, let me know what you think down below, especially about this speech here. Was I too hard on Amber? Should I say, hey, it's okay to laugh during a teenage suicide speech? You know, whatever. Maybe the teen's listening. Some other teens are listening. Just my opinion, obviously, since it's my video. All right, let's check out Fair Enough for a second. Here she is on Twitter. Maybe give her a follow. Maybe follow me on Twitter. I'm on there. Also, if you're not subscribed here, consider it. I'm doing shout outs, special thanks, things like that. If you're not subscribed here and you don't subscribe, I'll be pretty sad about it, but I'll get over it. See you next time. Also, I'm on Twitter. Maybe give me a follow. Got almost 3,000 followers. I guess I just like getting followers like some other people do too. If you're not, oh, take two. That sounded so silly, man. <laughs> what the hell are you thinking?